From a kleptomaniac crab to a promiscuous prairie dog to a seemingly sociopathic alpha chimpanzee, PBS's Nature premieres a three-part miniseries that travels the world to explore these insubordinate animals in action. But are these creatures really breaking bad, or are they simply acting in ways that allow them to survive and even thrive? Here's a look. In nature, playing by the rules doesn't always lead to success. To get ahead, some animals will engage in a variety of dirty tricks and dastardly deeds. Meet the planet's greatest rebels, the thieves, troublemakers, and shapeshifters, who will stop at nothing to get a meal. And joining us now to talk about Natural Born Rebels, a nature miniseries, is Nature Series editor, Janet Hess. Janet, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Raphael. Yeah, so I said this is a three-part miniseries, uh, and the first episode is called Hunger Games, but it's really mostly about thieving animals, animals that steal from human beings and steal from each other. My favorite of all of them is the rhesus macaque, I think yep. that's how you pronounce it, who somehow always seem to know which human being to steal from. Talk about them. It's a great scene. Um, you're going to see a ton of amazing behavior yeah. in this series. But the macaques are special because they're, they're all about figuring out what you're doing. And they want to steal what you've got, but they don't want to get caught. So they, they're very conscious of whether you're looking at them, you're not looking. And what I love is that they're trying to sneak and steal from you and they don't want you to see them even looking at you, so they give themselves away. There's a tremendous sense of how conscious they are of your consciousness. It's fascinating. It is fascinating, huh? Now, now an example of an animal that steals from another animal is the world-famous pika, an old favorite for, of nature. Uh, we love them The funniest nature. running animal ever. Talk about, about the pika. They're adorable uh, little members of the rabbit family, little rabbit cousin. And um, they rely, they live very high in the mountains, like in the Rockies, up above tree line, where there's not much growing, but they rely all winter on a store of grass that they've been collecting all summer, little haystacks that they make. And they have to gather that all summer. And a lot of times they have a very f long way to go all the way down to where the grass is and all the way back up to where their little uh, home in the rocks. And, and so they start stealing from each other, and they say, oh, somebody's got some grass over there. I'll take that. I'll take that. So the second episode is about survival in general. Um, and one of my favorites here has to be the boxer crab. What makes this little creature so unique? I think it's my favorite scene in the, in the, in the, in the, in the series. These uh, small crabs that I didn't know about, um, and when you first see them, you go, what on earth is that? And they have these big pink pom-poms. And it turns out they are a, a very um, stinging anemone uh, that are full of toxins. And the live, crab, live creatures, Live actually. other creatures that they're carrying around in their claws. Yeah, like boxing gloves. Little pink pom-poms. And, and in, when um, uh, some other larger animal, a fish, comes up and thinks, oh, a nice little crab, I'll have a snack. Boom. Boom. <laughs> they hit them. They come right in and they <laughs> punch them with these little anemone boxing gloves, and the, f the f fish gets a big sting. Yeah. And, um, and the twist in the story is that these anemones are so important that the crabs start stealing, stealing them from, from each, each other. other. All right, so the final episode is called The Mating Game, and it's all about the shenanigans some of these animals pull in order to get a mate. Um, the first one that strikes you, of course, is the peacock. Now, the peacock, of course, has his large, beautiful uh, feathers, you know, tail feathers. Is it all about looks for the, for the peacock? There's always a twist in the story, <laughs> in the tale, so to speak. <laughs> and, of course, peacocks are, are famous for being flamboyant. Mm -hmm. But they're all flamboyant. So now what separates yeah. them? And um, it turns out that... Uh, girls are interested in what other girls like. Yeah. And when a, a peacock has, has mated, he makes this funny little sound. It's a little peep, yeah. you know? But other females notice that right away and go, huh, that's somebody that another female liked. Let me go, to him. you know, that, that's, that, that, he must be good. Yeah. So um, 
our uh, little uh, peacock male character starts to let out that peep, and he hasn't had any mates at all. It's amazing. There are a million of these stories in this in this series. We only had time to touch on a few of them. I mean, it's terrific. Oh, we hope everyone enjoys it. Yeah. Janet, thank you so much. Thanks, Raf. Natural Born Rebels, a nature miniseries, premieres every Wednesday from April 25th through May 9th at 8 p.m. on PBS. Please check your local listings for additional airtimes.